All right, folks, this is a later that same day tacking on to the video I made earlier this morning. So again, we're at our two barrel system. It's been raining this whole time, not terribly hard, but you can see water's still steadily coming out that downspout there onto the leaf feeder. So a couple hours later, there's a little bit more debris on the leaf feeder. If you wanna see a really nasty leaf feeder, check out our other videos and see just how much damage that leaf feeder can uh, mitigate. So anyway, what you'll notice now, a couple hours later, is that you can still hear the water going in, but it's quieter. And that's because my water level is much higher in the barrels at this point. You'll notice we still have a little bit of simultaneous overflow. And what I should say is if it were raining harder, you would see more water coming out here at the bottom, even while the system's filling at optimal capacity. So again, that's nothing to worry about. It's how all of these pieces are designed to work together. So there we go. And then the other difference that you'll notice with barrels that are almost full is that we're naturally gonna get a little bit more pressure out of this drain valve. And again, this is not a high flow drain valve. This is just our regular drain valve. So that water's coming out nice and strong. Would be even stronger with a high flow drain valve. And now that our barrels are more full, I can show you the water coming out of this elevated spigot. So, yep, don't want to waste too much, but you can kind of see how everything works there. So, again, hope you've enjoyed and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. Check out BlueBarrelSystems.com for all the parts, information, and resources to build your own rainwater catchment system and do it right the first time.